Every day, you have a decision to make. Are you going to get up and strive for greatness? Or roll over and settle for average? Making excuses and procrastinating until tomorrow. Either way, the choice is yours. Good morning, brothers, and welcome back. So in last week's video, I shared my thoughts on perspective. And I told you that I believe our perspective is creating our reality, that it's the lens that we view all of life through. And as I was reading through some of the comments, I came across the question that I wanted to share with you. The question is, if our perspective is controlling our reality, what controls our perspective? I love this question, but the challenge is it's a loaded one. It's a loaded question because there's not one thing that controls our perspective. But as I was thinking through the question, I was reminded of a story. Once upon a time, there was a Cherokee Indian that was sitting around the campfire with his grandson, the campfire crackling in the background. And he looked at his grandson and he said, inside of all of us is a battle going on. And it's a battle between two wolves. The first wolf is the wolf of evil, and he's filled with anger and rage, fear and hate, dishonesty and ego. And the second wolf, well, the second wolf is the wolf of good, and he's filled with love and compassion, kindness, loyalty, and faith. The grandson thinks about it for a minute, and then he looks up at his grandfather and he says, Papa, which wolf wins? And the grandfather just smiles and says, the one that you feed. I share this story with you guys because your perspective is created by what you feed it. If you feed it love and kindness, gratitude and faith, your perspective is gonna be of those qualities. And if you feed it with the other, if you feed it with fear and hate, anger, jealousy, greed and ego, your perspective is gonna be filled with those qualities. You see, our perspective is built by what we listen to, what we watch, what we read. Who we spend time with is who we become. Whether you like it or not, it's the truth. And it's not just an opinion, brothers. It's a scientific fact. You see, there was a 30-year study that was done. And in this study, they found that if you have a friend that becomes obese, your chances of becoming obese increase by 40%. And it doesn't stop there. If you have a friend of a friend, a, someone who is just a mutual acquaintance, you don't even know him that well, but if you have a friend of a friend that becomes obese, your chances go up 20%. They looked at smokers and they found that if you have a friend that smokes, you are 61% more likely to smoke. And if you have a friend of a friend that smokes, your chances go up by 29%. Who you spend time with is who you become. And it doesn't stop there. This trend filters through every area of your life. If you have friends that are struggling financially, you're likely to struggle. And if you have friends that have a great marriage, that great marriage is gonna influence yours. The bottom line is your perspective is created by your proximity in life. I'll leave you guys with this. Every day, you must stand guard at the door of your mind because what you let in is what you become. I'll see you guys next week.